Hi guys, we made a promise, so in today's video we're going to show you how to use the barcode clipboard. You know that this click can work both as a standalone device or it can be used for further development of your own scanning software. In today's video we're going to show you how to use it as a standalone device so you can get the right picture of what the advantages are. When you go to product page of this clipboard, in the download section you will find the LV3296 user's guide. It's a PDF which lets users configure the LV3296 by scanning the programming barcodes included in this manual. Depending on the mode of the module that you would like to use, you can scan the barcode related with the setting described in the manual. Another great thing about this clipboard is that you don't have to print the manual, you can scan the barcodes directly from your computer screen. In today's demonstration, we're going to show you how to set up this clipboard in a USB HID KBW mode, so we can see the scan results directly in the form of text. On top of every page of the user's manual, you will find the enter setup code that you have to scan before setting the module. Then you will do the scanning of the actual mode that you want, and after that at the end you also have to scan the exit setup barcode so you don't change the mode by accident. So first you should connect the USB cable to a clipboard. Then scan the enter setup barcode. Then scan the mode that you chose. In our case it's USB HID KBW. And at the end you have to also scan the exit setup code. Now let's try it out. First I have opened the plain text document and we will try to scan the QR code that we have previously generated using the online QR code generator and printed it on the paper. As you can see this QR code is actually the brief description of our clipboard. The maximum distance of the scan depends on the ambient light intensity. The more light you have, the bigger the distance can be. So if you're planning to scan from a bigger distance, you will need a bigger barcode, so the barcode can fit into sensor scanning resolution. I hope that we gave you an idea how awesome this clickboard is. In the next video, we're going to show you how to use the barcode click with the development board, so you can see how to make your own barcode scanning software. Thank you guys for watching the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and go check our product page.